hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another video and in this video we are going to build uh, the reverse proxy i mean the proxy service for the nest js so that we can forward the our request to our multiple services so when i say proxy this is what i'm going to do is let's say you are going to hit the same host every time uh my app dot uh, domain dot com i'll just use this something like this okay here you are going to hit api v1 let's say auth service then what it should do when you are hitting this it should take me to the auth service okay when I say something like API v1 uh, restaurant service it should take me to the service too and same for the third one let's say I'm just talking about card service so for the front end these are the same domain because the front end is talking to the proxy proxy server and then we are forwarding this proxy to these particular services right so maybe this host is already exposing the apis here api v1 let's say user or api v1 auth these are some of the api routes we have in the auth service right These are the routes. So for how it will how it will work? You are going to send a request to my uh, app domain dot com api even health service and let's say health. Then it will forward this request to how the we we have to use the proxy middleware and then it will convert this request to something else and how that URL will look like. This URL will become api even health, right? So for front end, this domain is still same. We are just using these service name alias, auth service, restaurant service, card service. And we are going to rewrite through this particular module which we are going to use. That is Node.js uh, proxy middleware, express proxy middleware that is we use uh, at different places. So this proxy service will have just an uh, interceptor or you can say middleware for every request based on the route. Let's say your route is coming from... Uh, if there is a request in this service if there is a request coming something like this api api v1 auth service okay then forward this service to a particular middleware that will rewrite this route rewrite this api endpoint to api v1 v1 and maybe the target domain so first of all what it will do is we check the target domain which is myapp.hello.com target domain.com let's say and then it will convert it to api v1 okay and uh, i will just re re repeat this app.com so it will be more clear how what we are going to do and i will let's copy this and paste it multiple times this is the second segment this is the third segment okay let me delete this so let's say if you are hitting it something else let's say health then it should point to the same route just it gets added like health right this is how we will doing the proxy so similarly we can build a couple of more examples on this let's say if you are doing api v1 auth service and auth because here this is how we are going to access our login apis and all auth so it will access api v1 auth so this is what we want this service alias will be replaced there and then this is these are the user apis users 
API v1 users. Okay, this is what we want. This is how we will be able to achieve this service. Now, instead of auth service, you will write another maybe a proxy middleware in the nest JS that will forward your request based on this uh, restaurant service to another target endpoint. And this endpoint will be different. Like this is for now, let's say auth.myapp.domain.com for other services will be shoppingcart.myapp.com, right? But this is the, the concept. This is what we are trying to achieve with the help of this Node.js uh, proxy middleware. This is just a simple snippet of code, but understanding is important how it really works. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a Nest.js service. And if you don't understand this proxy uh, mechanism at all, then you might have used it something like this. There is a front end app. Okay, that you run that is running on your local host, right? When we do a development. 3000 and you always have a, either a local backend or maybe a dev environment, right? Something like this, which is a live API. My app dot domain dot com API v1 something like this and you are trying to access this to this endpoint due to the chrome security regions you are going to get cross origin resource sharing error right because your your front end is on different domain and your back end is on different domain you will get that that errors and you won't be able to make the request so in that case what we generally do we create a simple proxy middleware right here we just create a in react app also it is there create react app proxy and what proxy will do is your these kind of request so there is a particular request if you are going to hit let's say you are going to hit a some api endpoint what you will do is localhost 3000 and you will just prefix it api now this api will be handed over to this proxy this proxy will take care of forwarding this request to this dev, dev, dev endpoint because now for the front end, this API endpoint is also same. So both are on the host, same host, same port. So front end is happy. It will not throw the Chrome, will not throw the cross origin resource sharing errors. And you will, be, you will be able to make API call to your DAO staging or production environment. But you need to have this proxy middleware in the create react app, uh, or you can build your simple nest, uh, simple Node.js proxy by writing few lines of code. But this is also same proxy, your backend, um, your front end doesn't know where your request is going to right because this proxy is forwarding that request for front end your back end service is the proxy but this is not the actual proxy this is not the actual service actual service is here okay now let's see that in the code what we are going to do is uh, we are going to create a simple proxy service so i'll just check and we um uh, use v16 o once we do that nest new proxy service so it should create a proxy service for us and then once it is there it will just do some installation for that we will wait and then we will create this is important how we rewrite the the urls otherwise you will get confused how it really works so it's a simple nest setup we are going to get and then uh, we will write our code and that code will be a uh, minimal there are two different ways of doing it you can use uh, express middleware app.use and this is the source url this is the target url and you will use this uh, proxy middleware for that so there are both the ways i will try to explain how it really works and then we'll go from there so how it really works uh, i mean it's a very simple logic we can add it in the two different ways this is our oh, where did i create that inside auth service am i crazy okay looks like this has been created here auth service okay so we will move to this packages we are still good proxy service i see here now this main.ts right this is what express instance app instance and we can create a custom middleware like app.use this is how it works app.use and then you can pass it right we are going to use a particular uh, module http proxy middleware 
so first of all we will go to this package proxy service and then we will install it std proxy whatever that is helping us to create a proxy okay so now we can do multiple things here we will create a middleware inside source and then because what we want we need to intercept the request and forward it to some other target domain by doing a path rewrite right so uh, what we first of all we'll just use a middleware part like how we can create a middleware and do it in that way so in the middleware we are going to create a simple proxy auth middleware proxy auth dot and how we create a middleware a simple like we implement a simple class export class reverse proxy for auth apis because we will be creating multiple middleware for that for auth proxy for shopping cart and for different different services nest middleware But it's not showing this nest middleware okay now we need to implement a method i guess so this is a constructor we'll do something and then there is a use function that you have to provide and inside a constructor do we need constructor i guess no and here we are going to define our method we are going to create a private variable private proxy private proxy equal to create proxy middleware do we have this or we need to import it from import create proxy middleware from http proxy middleware sometimes this autocomplete doesn't work and then it makes the developer task little Hard. okay create proxy middleware and then inside this what we do is we pass an object and this object is important so what is a target target means target who spot service we write here we are going to rewrite the path and then i mean i'm going to test it on this local so i will just set secure false and on proxy request this is where you can do the logging okay you are redirect you are doing a proxy for this source to that target so here it will be a proxy request original request and response and i will just simply log my statements okay this is what i'm going to do i'm printing the proxy request and then uh, inside use because this is what the middleware will do app dot use Okay, sorry this dot proxy we are doing a proxy of this request it's the same express middleware also we do the same right request response and next it's just a wrapper on top of that in the nest js so this is a simple middleware we have created so our target is we are going to hit we are going to hit this proxy service and we will just redirect it to our auth service so auth service is running on 3000 api v1 and path rewrite this is important this is really important to understand because i also struggled it a lot in past so what is your path let's say my path is api v1 auth service okay and how i'm going to rewrite it i'm going to rewrite to forward slash so when you write api v1 auth service it is going to hit this particular route when you say api v1 health service auth service health it is going to say api v1 health okay and then we will register it to auth module and how we do it simply uh, i will just add this to the auth module middleware consumer let's import all those things last module here so when you set v1 auth service even i'm not even prefixing api because api prefix i'm going to add in the main.ts so for this middle uh, root path is v1 auth service so all the requests which are coming with v1 auth service 
and wild card means v1 auth service and all the routes will be delegated to this middleware and inside main.ts i will add my stuff like global prefix we can add and uh, we you can just do some logging app.use and some callback just to log okay what is the original request we are getting request response okay sorry next and here we can just this is the middleware we are adding and inside this console i mean i can just get the original url which you are trying to get. so and this is app.lation i'm going to use the just for the demo purpose then we will change it we will get it from env using dot env okay auth middleware this is good module service okay my another service docker is running let's see my auth service is running or not npm run start dev okay that is, that is my auth service and then i will start my proxy service okay this is breaking maybe due to the node version and we have used version 16.18.0 that is auth service and this is i'm going to run cd packages prox let's check the version because version gets switched when you create a new terminal either make this version default but i don't want because my earlier projects are on v14 so npm run start dev so what it will do is uh, let's say forward slash will be proxied to this and then uh, api we were service will be proxied to this but uh, let's see how it works when we have multiple middlewares one is for auth service middleware one is for shopping cart middleware and all but currently it will proxy this request it should proxy this request api even auth service to forward slash and i can test it simply our local host 3001 because it is running on uh, 3001 api v1 auth service not found okay i maybe i did some mistake API on auth service and you can see empty reply from server i mean it is sending something right but you can see the logs here we got the invoke invocation at the target service right we got the url api even auth there that means it is hitting that service i don't know why there is an empty response but we will see that but you can see here api connection refused maybe it's not dealing with the empty response or forbidden response let's try a simple browser trick so i'm going to hit localhost 3001 api v1 auth service users okay maybe i need to fix something then okay so secure false console.proxy and this is my node.js server app module main.ts 3001 okay global prefixes api this is my module and on the api view auth service we are hitting this proxy auth middleware which is forwarding this request api v1 auth service to forward slash maybe i need to restart the both the service Response.set header got invoked. Proxy get request original made to this. I mean, the proxy service is not able to respond back. That may be the reason. Rewrite rule is created. Okay, something is wrong then. Request or is API on auth service users. Let's revisit our code. 
proxy middleware API v1 okay so what it is doing is localhost 3000 API v1 and our endpoint is API v1 auth service forward slash okay so let me just play with this body parser okay so i what i think is this body parser was the issue you need to pass the body parser false while creating the nest js app and then just starting it so body parser false will make this running i guess so i'm running this nest.js proxy and we will see here i just check that it's working and here health and you can see this is the health check endpoint and this is our users obviously you are not passing an authorization header so it won't allow you to access that request you can see unauthorized this is coming from the target service right and this auth login all these apis are working because now auth service will be replaced with api v1 here you can see the how the rewriting is happening i just requested i just log this message also and at the target service you can see these kind of requests are coming api v1 user so this is like this proxy service is proxying the request to the target uh, endpoint similarly what my target is let's say we have multiple middlewares proxy auth middleware similarly uh, we can have proxy shopping cart middleware okay what it will do is for a specific uh, end for specific urls we can use this particular middleware let's say auth service so here i will just change it to card service and this might be running on let's say 3006 for the local setup so api v1 card service and here in the middleware I will define something else. I'm not using controller. Okay. I will just add another middleware, register another middle, another path. So instead of card service, auth service will be a card service. So all the microservice, this is the microservice one, auth service, this is the card service. Similarly, there will be a restaurant service, another service. So these are nothing but you are creating the proxy to the target service based on the service alias okay these are the service alias you will create or this is the one way of doing it otherwise if you don't want to do it in the the nest js way then you already have a main.ts what you can do is you can register the middleware here only app.use and this is the callback which takes three argument request response next what we can do here we can just check okay let's write the whole function here only so it takes a app dot use so whenever your request is coming like this api v1 auth service right then create proxy middleware i need to import that Oh, HTTP proxy okay so this middleware we can pass I mean the whole thing we can pass here also it's the same thing whatever we are doing in the, the nest JS middleware it will take target and it will take your path right and secure true false on proxy request so it's like a same thing we are doing here this is a callback function and why it is complaining argument type target string path rewrite secure false is not assignable to type filter option the property path rewrite are incompatible Path rewrite is a key value pair of sorry. My bad. So here is this is the source path and this is the target path. So we can actually copy the whole stuff from here and paste it there. Okay, and I do it in the main.ts. Just copy this place still.
ओके टड़ा सो दिस इज जस्ट अनदर वे ऑफ डूइंग इट एपीआई यू नॉट सर्विस विल बी डेलीगेटेड टू दिस एंड पॉइंट राइट हियर आई थिंक वी नीड टू यूज अ वाइल्ड कार्ड इन दैट केस दैट व्हाट एवर इज यू आर एडिंग दैट विल गेट अपेंडेड हियर लाइक एपीआई यू नॉट सर्विस हेल्थ इट विल रीडायरेक्ट इट टू एपीआई वी वन हेल्थ एपीआई वी वन नॉट सर्विस यूजर्स विल रीडायरेक्ट इट टू एपीआई वी वन यूजर्स ओके जस्ट अनदर वे ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ सेम प्रॉक्सी आई हैव शोन इट वर्किंग and to end there was some error because uh, we were missing this body parts are false i'm not sure how it really impacted but this is required to not block or not hang up uh, our response coming from the target service okay that's it we are going to use it in our uh, main services so we now have a proxy service auth service ready we will talk about the restaurant service in the coming videos